welcome back my amazing wonderful fellow freedom fighters and lovers of freedom across the globe my amiable returning subscribers and those who are watching from a distance ha the year is coming to an end could you please do your sister a favor go ahead and then smack the red button click the notification bell so whenever we upload you'll be able to get notified all right but the peace of the Lord and may the power of Jesus bet. Bring everything alive in you. Amen. On this video, you are going to hear some of the things that are coming against the Biafran governors and the economic situation. We are about to smack them with economic sanction because they feel a different year on the pains and the killing of our people because they are eating our money hiding it across all countries of the world and that their family members are living large but it is time for them to understand that power belongs to the people mother nam the shall be free to declare Biafra for you and i as we listen to our brother simon ekba i want you to listen to this closely and tell me what you think because let me tell you if we keep allowing these people, they will keep keeping Mazen Namde Kano that place. Lula of Law, do not work with Fulani. I want you to let me know so what Nigeria, you think in the below comment section. Fulani don't respect law. They made law, they have constitution, they don't respect it. They don't value it. In fact, uh, you know, if you are hoping on Nigeria state to respect the law, without speaking in the language they understand you are not uh, you are not telling yourself the truth i want you to agree on one thing even if you don't believe what i'm saying you must agree one thing one thing you must agree on is that fulani don't respect law okay that is language they understand Fulani understand violent. Now, we are not even going to violent. I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to preach violent. But remember that revolution does not come with a pancake. Okay? But we are not, uh, we are not yet into that part or that kind of revolution. But the revolution we are into now is to, first of all, we have to start attacking the revenue. The, how they generate internal revenue. You see, what we are fighting is for our freedom, and we have to apply every strategy to get, uh, you know, to get to the government. We have succeeded in implementing the sit at home. We have succeeded, and the sit at home every Monday is going very well. And we want to see more compliance in the sit at home. It is called the civil disobedience. Now. One thing you have to know is that I want everybody I want everybody to forget all these things you read every day. Forget, forget it. Let us fight without looking back. Let us support our leader without looking back. Let us support everything that will make the government to start talking and negotiating the release of our leader and other people they hold captive without trial that will only be possible when we begin to freeze the revenues of this government it is uh you know some some time uh some people don't understand what you mean what uh, when you when you say sanction you don't understand what economic sanction does to nations that have abused human rights, that have committed atrocities and crime against humanity. So we are going to impose sanctions on the government and the officials. First of all, you as a person, you are not benefiting anything from Nigeria state. Okay, so you have nothing to lose. So what we are going to do is that we are going to impose economic sanctions by ourselves on this government. How do we do that? How do we impose economic sanctions? 
The economic sanction is that we are going to ground every internally generated revenue in entire Biafra, in entire Biafra land. And I will tell you in the evening how effective that will be. Once we impose economic sanction and enforce the enforce economic sanction, we have to take responsibility and enforce it. We are going to enforce that economic sanction. And once that is done, we will now watch and see how it goes. Believe me, I'll give you two weeks. Two weeks of economic sanction against Biafra State, we are done. Believe me, two weeks of economic sanction. So in the evening, I'm going to explain to you how these sanctions, how we are going to enforce and impose this economic sanction on Biafra State. Remember, we are targeting, for now, we are targeting the internally generated revenue. Our target is the internally generated revenue. I want you to make a research for those of you who say Nigeria depend on oil. We agree. Nigeria is oil uh, country, the, the, you know, the state depend on money coming from Abuja. We agree. But let me also tell you, no state, no state in Nigeria will survive just with the oil money they are getting from Abuja. They also survive by the internally generated revenue. If you don't know how much your, your, your state, if you don't know how much your state is making, you are not supposed to be fighting for freedom. So I want you, from those of you who come different, go and, and check the internally generated revenue of your state and check how much the state are generating every month. You will understand what I'm talking about. Once we, we, we sanction it, once we place that economic sanction on the state, even if it is dropping with 100 million, even if it is dropping with 500 million, I am telling you people, that is the only way we are going to hold, especially the governors, the local government chairman, the councillors, the senators, the House of Representative members, the House of Assembly, and all that. So I know that this economic sanction is going to hit very hard on the governors. So those of you, those of you who are uh, always shouting about what we are going to do to the governors, how are you know, uh, sit at home is not getting to them. It is getting to them. Sit at home is actually getting to them. Now, let me tell you one thing about the sit at home. Sit at home is not actually, may not actually affect the economy of the state. Okay? Sit at home is just a show of that they have lost control of the people. Okay? So we have been able to demonstrate the loss of control. They have lost the integrity, the territorial integrity. They have lost the power to control and govern the state. We have proven that to them. That is not in a doubt. Okay? We have been able to prove to the world that the governors don't have control over the people. That is the, you know, one of the biggest achievements of the sit at home. That is the biggest achievement of the sit at home. Now, this revenue we are talking about, all the agbero, all those people collecting money from buses, collecting money from driver, we are going to wage war against them. Okay, we're gonna declare, we're gonna give them weeks, one week. We are going to give them one week notice that we don't want to see any agro anywhere collecting money. And we are calling on all Biafrans. Anywhere you see any agro after one week collecting money, physical fight, feast, engage the person in physical fight. We need to, we need to, we need to uh, uh, enforce this. So it is going to be some of the civil disobedience that we are going to uh, implement, and it is called the economic sanction. We are not uh, we are not government yet to you know know how to sanction this, but the Biafra people must rise up to be citizen poli citizen police. You have to become 
citizen police and citizen army and whatever you can call yourself. And those who are ready to defend the land and make this happen, they are there. So let us now, as other things are happening, we channel our energy, channel our resources, in putting all the mechanism that will make the people to enforce this economic sanction. So make sure you are part of this evening broadcast to know how economic, economic sanction works. The economic sanction is the, uh, the, uh, the, the mechanism that uh, powerful countries use, you know, to bring other uh, human rights abusers and president and countries that have engaged in, in a very bad human rights abuse bring them to order by economic sanction. So, and the economic sanction can be frozen of asset. Uh, you know, they can froze their asset, they can cut business ties and, uh, and all that. So it, it goes a long way to affect the economy of that country. So the country will not have any option that will succumb. So now I will give you example of economic sanction and what it does. Uh, Russia, for example, has been uh, sanctioned. When uh, South Africa was in appetite uh, regime, uh, Mandela was actually moving for economic sanction from the United States, economic sanction against South Africa. Now, we are not uh, actually, uh, uh, with this particular civil disobedience now, it is not about the Biafra, okay? Our target is not about Biafra yet. Our target is getting to the governors who have turned blind eye and who have become deaf uh, on the plight of Biafra people. So they live on that money, they make that money, they don't use it to develop the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the region. They don't use those internally generated revenue to build market, for example. Go to Area Area Market. Area Area Market is like a pig farm. They generate billions from Area Area, Area Market. But Abia State Governor is not doing anything to fix the road when there is when there is rain everywhere is flooded so there is no point so what we are going to do is to place this economic sanction and enforce it so all those uh, our biafra people that are wasting time engaging people or trying to enforce it at home you have a job to do the job you have to do is to engage every state revenue collectors after we give them one week to quit we're going to give them one week to quit and we need to engage them and it is called revolution and at the same time civil disobedience so we are going to place this economic sanction i want everybody to understand this you see the reason why uh the politicians choose to resolve mazen and the Kano case on a political solution is because of the seat at home <laughs> it's because of the seat at home the seat at home dealt with them uh, they didn't lose money. I just have to be very sincere. They did not lose money, okay? It was not about economy. But what they tell you, they tell you that uh, it is because of the economy that the economy of Southeast, Southeast is going down. It's a lie. Economy of Southeast cannot go down because of every Monday sit at home. But let me tell you the secret and the reason. The secret and the reason is that it is a very big slap and shame to the governors that thank you for watching if the video interests you please